What's up guys, this is Mystery Gaming, and today in Just Cause 3, I'm going to show you how to get the Vertileon 3. So on the map, it is right beside Falco Maxime. So, um, just past Falco Maxime, there's a little warehouse here, and the Vertileon will actually be inside. So we're just gonna do this quick, because I do not have a lot of time today. So we're just gonna jump inside. And over here, you will find three cars, which is indeed the Vertileon. So, um, the, th the hardest part about this is, if you look closely on the map, we're in this warehouse, but we're right beside Falco Maxime. So we're gonna have to take the longer route in order to get out. Now, just saying, there's a lot of police in this area, so it may take you a little bit to get out, but I'll go ahead and show you guys how to get out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go this way instead, because if you go through Falco Maxime, they're gonna blow you up with nukes. <laughs> so, you're gonna, instead of going left, when you come out here, you're gonna go right. So, wh what I suggest, before you even start doing this, I suggest liberating either a town in here or something, or just, um, I actually have liberated Citadel de Ravello, because it doesn't take that long to get down there. So I suggest just liberating a police down here, so you have a garage to store your car after. Because if you don't do that before, and you place your car there, and try to, um, and try to just, you know, um, liberate a place, so that you can get your garage, your car will actually disappear. So you do not want that. Okay, so as you can see, there is a lot of cops, which I was talking about. Actually, I guess it's the military in this game. There's a lot of military, so you want to try not to um, get the heat on you. What I'd suggest too is not going as fast as I am right now. Cause see I almost hit that biker right there. If I would've hit that you would've had like instant heat and everyone would've just chased you. Oops. Oh that was close. Okay. So after you reach this part here you're gonna go um and just follow all the way down to I guess you can just go now and set your marker. Oh wait, no, that takes you a different route, sorry. Okay. You want to go... Down here. Actually, wait, right inside. Yeah, this should be fine. So, I'll go all the way down there. So that's like, another 4k. But it's pretty much a straight line, so you wouldn't have that many troubles. I just a bit of turns and try not to be fast around the military. Because as I said before, you will get instant heat, and you're going to have to do this over and over. But I'm going fast because I am on a time limit. So, we're just going to try to get this video done quickly. If you like so far, it, like if you like this video so far, be sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Because I will do a lot more how um how-to videos and even if you just like gaming in particular I do gaming videos so I mean, it's in the name so <laughs> so yeah I do gaming videos I'll start doing some how-to videos just uh, some tutorials and hope you guys like it
I would like I really suggest do not go as fast as I'm going right now I almost hit a biker as you saw earlier in the video I almost hit a biker um I've had it before where I go like really fast this car goes like 300 and I'll be ripping it like 250 and I hit something and it's over so I would really suggest not doing that okay now well here you want to it should be able to take you down now so just set your destination to there and you should be fine let's go ahead oh yeah so this will only take like five minutes to um to get the 10k in total and maybe take like t 10 to 12 minutes um the part is though fast traveling to the thing if you do not have all the rebel shrines lit up what i suggest is teleporting to falco maxime which is kind of a dumb idea you think um but what you do is if you turn around immediately because the helicopter will put you in a place where it's facing the thing uh facing the base if you turn around and just go straight down there using your wingsuit um you only get shot once which you won't die as long as you have you're good at using the wingsuit um, but that's up to you though. If you want to choose to fast travel to a different place, I don't, I don't care. That's just it's my preference to go down there. So um, the next how-to video I'm going to do, it is a Formula One car, which I find you will actually really like. Um, it's a very easy tutorial. I thought it would take forever to find the Formula One car. I forget what the name of it is, but it actually takes like three minutes. You can have it like have it by your garage in three minutes. And you don't even have to go that far out to find it. But the only thing about that though is you have to liberate Citadel de Velo, which of course if you're watching this video and um you know, you're trying to get this vehicle, I would liberate Citadel de Velo. Just put the effort in. I mean, it only takes like 15 to 30 minutes um, to liberate Citadel de, Citadel de Velo. But I mean, it's worth it though, because you can, there's a lot of cars and unique stuff around there. And as such, Citadel de Velo, I find is the best place to just goof around. Um, if, uh, if, you know, um, if you haven't seen my videos before, on my Just Cause 3 series of goofing around. It's literally called that. Um, well, actually, no, I guess it's called Just Cause 3 Part. And then I have Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3. I'm goofing around in Citadel de Ravello, which I find you guys um, would like. If you haven't seen those videos, I suggest watching them. Okay, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to try to do this quickly. Which, again, do not go fast like this. I'd suggest staying around like 100. Okay, so I'm good. Um, I believe once you get to like 3 kilometers left, you cross a, like a border place, and it's like, it's, um, you know, like not really cops or anything, so... It's fine to be ripping it down like 200, even 250. But I would I would suggest going at least 100 to 150 here, because if you're going like how fast I'm going, I've been hit so many times by cops before. It's not even funny. <laughs> so, and just be careful taking your turns and all that too. You don't want to hit anyone. Because this is a really nice car, it is the fastest car in the game. Great pickup speed. Um, some people have told me before that the Formula 1 car is the fastest, but indeed it's not. Um, I've done the, um, I guess calculations, I guess you could call it. The Formula 1 car goes 250, the Verde Leon goes 300, and that's the max speed for both of them. So... And, um, there are some places too. Oh. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Ooh. Um, there are some places too where. What was I gonna say now? 
Oh, there's some places too where they just swerve out of the middle of the road and you can get hit and um, it's this is a nice car you don't want to ruin it so that's what I'm just saying is those are my kind of safety precautions but if you guys want to do whatever you feel like if you want to go 300 down the road just to save a bit of time then go ahead I'm not stopping you I mean, it's your choice. Can't believe we're at the the border part now. Yep. So we're fine now. You can just go whatever speed you feel like. Just try not to damage the Kylo because this doesn't have much armor on it. I mean, if you're like me and you're really good at driving, and you know, you can go ahead and just rip it down um, as fast as you feel like, then go ahead. Hey, I'm not, I'm not stopping you, so. Oh, so, oh, oh, what an awesome flip. Oh, man, my window's damaged. Oh, well, I don't care. So after, here wait, oops, no, why do I always do that? No, don't blow up, don't blow up. So then after that, you just head to the garage, which is right over there. I right, hope you guys like that. Subscribe and see you later.